this is Stampy, and welcome to episode number 30 of my let's play of Skylanders Trap Team! I am currently in the Skylanders Academy and I am playing as Terabyte, who is uh, one of the uh, the favourite Skylanders I've had over the, uh, yeah, the, the last 30 episodes, and mainly because he does this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he makes lots of silly noises and I do love him, but sadly I am not playing as him uh, for this episode. I am going to instead play as a brand new Skylander. And uh, yeah, this one's pretty small and the one I'm switching to is no bigger. I am playing as uh, another one of the uh, new mini Skylanders and this one's called Bop. And I like the name. I like the name Bop. Good name for a, a Skylander. And uh, as you can see, he's um, absolutely tiny. Uh, he makes little groany noises as he jumps. He goes, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what can he do then? Oh, he can spin his tail. Look, his tail uh, has got like a, like a ball on it, which is, uh, I guess, good for, for whacking. And uh, oh, he can roll in a little ball as well. Oh, look, he like he keeps rolling until he starts getting slower and slower and slower. Then he has to, to go and stand up. <laughs> Bop seems pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we're about to head off to the Clock of Skyland uh, because there's some suspicious activity over there. And uh, it's probably something to do with the the old Doom Raider, so uh, let's go uh, speak to Flynn and uh, find out what we got to do. Here's another thing I never thought I'd say. Ready to go rescue Chaos, Skylander? Yeah, I guess. I guess we should rescue him. I guess it's the right thing to do. Okay, well, let's go get him. No time like the present, eh, Skylander? See what I did there? A little play on words. Uh, since we're going to a giant clock, huh? Oh, never mind. Let's go! I gotta hand it to you. That was a pretty good pun. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, head off to, to Time Town then. Uh, looks like the, the villain is a big bird uh, that we're gonna go and try and capture here. We've got three stars to get as always. And I like this place. Oh, this place is nice. It reminds me a bit of um, a Toy Town in my lovely world, this if you've seen that. This creep must already be messing with the clock. We're gonna stop him before he manages to permanently break time. It confused me. So... <laughs> This is what they do, eh, Chaos? Just fly in, land somewhere nearby, and eventually mess up your plans. Sort of, but... Uh, no Have you ever considered just wrecking their ship? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that! Oh, really? Watch this! Oh! Ah! Ah! Emergency landing! I really thought he was going to get hit this by that propeller there. Just got personal. Well, I mean, of course it was always personal, but, you know. Anyway, I'll find the lander. You go after the creep. Right, that was, um... A bit more of a uh, <laughs> a crash landing than we were hoping for. But look at this place! Oh, this isn't a place where the villain should be. This is like the cutest place ever. This is the place I want to go on holiday, not to to battle googlies. <laughs> oh dear, well this is a, a nice little town for a nice little Skylander called Bop. Saying that, he is kind of small and cute, but he, he looks pretty vicious. see you. For years we keep this clock a secret. It controls all of time in Skylands. But then Crazy Wolfgang and his bad birdies show up and they kick us out. No good. I see Wolfgang take little bold screaming man inside that tower. You find them there. Right, thank you, Da Vinci. <laughs> Do you think that's the um supposed to be Da Vinci, maybe? Possibly. Oh look, there's some Traptanium for me to, to break uh, open here. So let me go and uh, put down a uh, wildfire, and then uh, we can use him to, to smash this open and uh, hopefully find uh, a chest on the inside, his little colander <laughs> on the top of his head there, looking kind of ridiculous. All right, he should uh, make pretty short work of this. Wing, bang, bosh, bang, and there we go, we've broke through. And uh, so let me go and uh, put little old Bop back down, and uh, we can go and switch back to him. I do like the the playing as one character per episode. Sometimes I do feel uh, feel like I'm losing out for a little bit by not switching. 
So I guess normally you'll just be uh, constantly switching between different players, uh, different characters uh, for each, each each level. Uh, but I kind of like just just sticking to one character per episode, just so just so I get a, a good amount of time with them before uh, exploring and finding someone new. Uh, but it looks like we have discovered a soul gem for Rocky Roll. Oh, this guy looks cool. I'm going to watch this preview. I normally uh, skip the previews, but this guy looks awesome. I want to uh, check him out. Maybe this is a, a Skylander I I'd like to get. Rocky roll. <laughs> this is cool. So it's like a guy rolling around on a big stone head. I guess they're they're kind of a pair. They kind of work together. I've not seen that one before. That one looks pretty cool. And all right, I can destroy these statues as well. Let's just go roll through them. And there seems to be a, an area behind. Oh, look, there's a thing down there. Look, there's a thing there. How do I get to that thing? Um, could I jump? No, I can't jump around there. Even though it looks like I could, I can't fit through that little gap. Uh, around here somewhere? Can I drop down to... Whoop. Nope. Well, I, I can drop down, uh, but that wasn't where I was supposed to get to. How would I... How would I get round to there? I have no idea. Maybe I've got to come back there from some other direction, but I have no idea how I would get it. Oh, well. I will not get it, uh, not get down on it. I will not worry about it for too long, uh, seeing as we do have chaos to rescue, which, um, yeah, I don't mind kind of taking my time a little bit, to be honest. After all of the, uh, the grief that Chaos has uh, <laughs> caused the, uh, the Skylanders in the past, I think it's okay to let them suffer uh, on that, that little ring for, ju for just a little bit. I mean, I am going to save them. I am going to do the thing that's right. But, yeah, we can we can leave them hanging out there for, for just a little bit. <laughs> I anyway, he seems to really like it. Right then, uh, what, are we, what are we supposed to be doing here then? Looks like a uh, block-moving puzzle by the looks of things. To reach the tower, you must push these blocks into position. That to make the gears pop out. Well, luckily for you, Da Pinci, I am a block-moving master. So uh, it seems like the blocks have cogs in them. So if I roll them into place, the cogs should hopefully start turning. There we go. So now the cogs are, are spinning. So if I slide this one across and then put it down this way, uh, yeah, we should be hopefully able to, to make our way to the, the clock tower. There we go. We got all of the, the cogs lifting up, so I should be able to get up there. But first, I'm going to have a little wander around, see uh, what other sights there are uh, in this area. Let's go and break open a few of these statues and things. Uh, let's go and uh, destroy these flowers. And uh, there seems to be a little house there. Maybe there's some, some people living here. Ah, looks like somebody fancies a, a quick game of Skystone Smash then. So uh, before we play Skystone Smash, I will uh, smash open <laughs> all of his furniture, I guess. <laughs> can I destroy this stuff? No, I don't think I can destroy that. All right, let's go and have a, a quick game of Skystones then, shall we? When I look to escape the pressures of maintaining all time in Skylands, I take solace in the simple game of Skystone Smash. Would you like to play? I sure would. I uh, love playing Skystone Smash. Let's get going. All right, let's do it. Uh, let's just trust that they're going to pick all of the, the best ones, shall we? And uh, let's go straight into the game. So it looks like uh, they have uh, 14 health points uh, when I only I have 10. Doesn't seem very fair, does it? But luckily, I am a master. So look, if I put down either of these two, uh, then that means I will be able to, to take them out. Uh, but they won't be able to take me out. And ooh, aha! Sheepify, turn an enemy card into a sheep. <laughs> uh, I like that, I like that. So I guess uh, whoever I put him against, I'm gonna turn them into a sheep. And uh, he does, he's got four health and does one damage as well. He seems to be uh, a pretty good uh, character. Right then, so I was able to deal with them pretty easily. If I go and put him down here, uh, because they're the same card, uh, they are both going to take each other out. Uh, but my card at the top is going to be doing some, some extra damage to the actual person I'm facing. So, uh, yes, yeah, so far, so good. Right, so once again, I have basically free reign to, to put down whatever I want. And so this guy does four damage. So if I go put him down here, uh, he's going to go and uh, do four damage to that character and uh, bring him down to only seven hearts left. So uh, I'm doing pretty good here. I'm doing pretty good. I am yet to lose a game of Skystone Smash. I've had um, one or two close calls, uh, but I'm yet to lose. And oh, I know what I should do. If I go and uh, put him down here, then he is going to damage both characters. And uh, that means that I will actually uh, be able to, to take the one at the top out. And uh, then the one in the middle, I think we're actually both just going to hurt each other and uh, take each other out, I believe. But this is still good. This is still putting me up. So I have uh, one character on the board who's going to do some damage. And he only has three hearts left. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and try and turn the... Um, ah, that was a Ku Clucker, I think that thing's called. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and try and turn him into a, uh, into a, a sheep. 
Right, there we go, using Sheepify. It's school time. <laughs> there we go, I've now turned them into a sheep. And now, he should be able to easily take out the sheep. But to be honest, I, I'd won anyway. I could have put down any card. I could have I could have not put down a card and I'd probably have still won then. Because <laughs> I'm just that good. And I was able to defeat hands and get myself absolutely loads of monies. Jolly good. Oh, well played, Skylander. Perhaps I need more time to practice. Good thing I work at the clock. By a landslide! <laughs> there we go, that's how I do it. This is awesome, because now uh, Bop uh, has already got absolutely loads of money, so he's going to be set uh, for getting himself a, a pretty awesome upgrade. But anyway, uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's go and uh, try and head our way inside of that clock then. And oh, this is a bit tricky. This is a bit tricky jumping along here. It's harder than it looks. Right, and oh, I can go to the left or the right. Wait, before we go to the right, let's have a quick uh, a quickle? <laughs> A quick look up here. I think I was going to say either a little look or a quick look. And I combined them and said quickle. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we found ourselves a gold chest. All I need to do now is, you know it. Open the chest and then get all of the jewels and riches inside. Bop has just showed up here and has just been showered with endless money from winning the Sky Stones and now getting that as well. Bop's rich. He's got over 3,000 monies already and he hasn't even faced a googly. I've not even had a, a small little moment uh, of combat. And if I try and get this good, there we go. I was able to, to get the, the gold coins on my way up. Can I get that one there? Not that I need any more money with the amount of money he's got already. What's this? I know there's like a, a little scene keeps popping up and down with some little sheep and uh, <laughs> a dancing mabu there as well. Uh, anyway, let's go and uh, before we carry on, go and break some of these things up. Do you think they mind? Do you think that they dread me showing up? Like, I know I'm generally overall doing good and taking out the villains, but do they kind of wish that, I don't know, like Superman showed up instead of me? Are they like, oh no, we need a hero. And then they're like, oh, look, a hero's coming. And they're like, oh no, oh no, it's a Skylander. They're going to smash everything up. They're going to steal our money, beat us at our card games. <laughs> do you reckon they hate it? And oh look, there's the villain. That's the villain that I need to face. What's he called? He's a, it's a bird with a, a big drill. Right, but this combat is not a drill. I need to go in and try and take him out. So let's um, let's throw Bop into the deep end then. He has not fought anyone ever. And his first bit of combat is going to be going up against one of the one of the bosses. To be fair, the boss does seem to be scared of me. I think it's because it's uh, using this crossbow thing. It's trying to stay far away from me so I can't get it. And oh, was that not the boss? I thought that was the boss, you but I don't think it was. The thank you, thank you. Now let me show you something. Come right this way. Okay, Da Pinci, <laughs> you can go and show me that. But before you do that, uh, you don't mind if I just, uh, yeah, just smash a few of your your things up. You don't mind that, do you? It's fine, it's fine. And actually, is there a is there a hidden area in this direction? The platform seems to go out a little bit. Aha! Aha! They thought they could hide it from me. They thought I would never found it, but I found the small platform you can drop down to. And uh, now I can go and speak to uh, this guy. Yay! I'm the right character as well. I've got this villain. Oh, hi there. These animated dioramas are fun. Wish Dr. Crankcase would come see. <laughs> Maybe he'd make them for us Willikin. Would love to be a part of such fun. Right. Luckily, I have Dr. Crankcase in my back pocket. And I've not actually really uh, checked him out that much, really. So I think uh, next fighting, I'm going to go as play as a Dr. to Crankcase. Uh, but yeah, it looks like there's a, a special mission that I can do as him. Oh, boy. So glad you come to see this happy diorama. Isn't it fun? Oh, is this it? Oh, okay. I guess the mission was have a look at the diorama. And oh, it's uh, dressed me up a little bit. It's changed my clothes. Oh, what am I doing? I'm gooping. I'm destroying the diorama. Ah. So I revealed a, a bit of a, a secret area for us. I, I gooped the uh, the diorama up so now I can go and uh, have a look inside. And yay, there's a present for me. A present for moi. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Right, so you know what I do to presents. I smash, 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 is that like a, a policeman helmet with a heart on? Yeah, it's a bobby. <laughs> it's an English police officer, that is. And look, plus 20 armor and plus seven elemental power. 
Mm, it seems to be a, a pretty powerful hat as well, so uh, let's go and uh, plomp it uh, right on the top of Bop's head. <laughs> There's a Bop with a bobby hat. <laughs> Bop with a bobby hat. I like that. I like that. <laughs> right, so let's go and uh, grab a little bit more of this money while we're in here. And oh, there's nothing... Uh, Hidden behind here, is there? Oh no, that would have been a, a pretty sneaky place. And oh, there's cogs flying all over the place here. Now, let's just go grab a little bit more money. And let's try and do something then. Let's actually go and try and make some progress. The problem is, I get so distracted doing this. Like, there's a very set objective. It's like, right, go to the clock tower, save chaos. That's what I need to do. But while you're doing that, you can go do this. You can go down here. There's the pinchy to speak to. There's so much going on. into the clock. You must solve the riddles of our steam lock. Wolfgang guy put them up to keep us out. Here, you will need this hammer. Okay, right looks like I need to solve a puzzle. It's at the pipe. Ah, so do I have to press it? Do I press it when the pipe goes past? Do it now, like that. There we go. I was able to smash it. All right, I think I'm going to do it on this this next one. Oh, look, there's two for me to get, so I need to go now. And then I need to go now. And there we go. I smashed them open. And now the clock's going to go crazy. And is it going to drop down and make a bridge? I think it might do. Yeah, it's going to go uh, down. Then I'll be able to get across. <laughs> that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Do I? I need to fight things. Okay, there's cogs falling from the sky. And aha. Uh -huh. Right, looks like we know what we've got to fight. Right. Here we go. What I said I was going to do, wasn't it? Was I go and switch over to, to Dr. Crankcase and uh, uh, see how much damage he can do. He seems pretty good. That spinny leg move is good because uh, it hurts everyone in a, a circle around me. And I know that they're trying to grapple on. I need to try and knock these off before they climb up. Can I knock it off? There we go. I've knocked one down. Let me try and get to the other one. There we go. That one's uh, knocked down as well. And look, I've got lightning moves as well. Look, if I go press triangle, I can go do my lightning moves and electrocute them. And then that freezes them in place. Uh, so I can then go and, uh, and move in. I'm getting <laughs> pretty knocked around here. Let's try and stay back for a bit then, and uh, try and use my goo gun. Oh, it looks good. My goo gun seems to be uh, pretty powerful. Now, can I go in with my spinny legs, do a lightning attack, and finish this guy off? There we go. Dr. Crankcase is uh, is pretty awesome, and uh, Bob's not bad himself. Bob's not bad himself. Right, let's go and uh, stand on this then, shall we, and uh, see what happened. Ah, I guess that was a big button uh, that's going to lift up these platforms. Look at those owls. Look at their little eyes going back and forth <laughs> as the clock goes. And look, there's another diorama down there. Right, let's go and uh, hop down here then, and uh, let's go. Uh, check out this diorama. So it's, it's a skeleton. Can we can we speak to the skeleton? Oh no! I just use a uh, Doctor Crankcase again to to shoot through them. I guess I can just go behind all of the the dioramas. I guess that's where uh, all of the the hidden areas are going to be. I'm backstage now. Apparently, I guess this is what what's going on behind all of the the dioramas as I go and just smash up <laughs> more of these statues. These are probably like grand statues of the great leaders of the past of uh, <laughs> of Clock Town, and I'm just going and destroying them all. Oh, time Town, sorry, not Clock Town. Time Town. That's what it's called. All right, let's just go up here then. We we'll smash a few of these things. I'm gonna get bored smashing this stuff up now to be honest. I think I've smashed up so much of this stuff that, I don't know, I, I just feel like I've got so much money that I just don't need to anymore. And I know I'm going to regret that uh, as soon as I go to to go and buy stuff, but uh, for now I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, um, right, what do I do here? Ah, okay, look, there's platforms coming out here. I just need to time it right and then I can jump up and then I guess I can just ride this platform uh, the, the whole way around this thing. So this is a kind of what goes on inside of clocks. Now, I don't know if you've ever uh, looked inside of a clock, but they look really cool. And I'm not talking about a digital clock. So if you look inside of a digital clock, you basically just see a battery, essentially. <laughs> but if you go to like an old analog clock, uh, and analog clocks are the ones with the, the actual hands that turn around. And if you ever look inside of them, there's so many clogs and uh, like, uh, cogs and little turny things. And it's so intricate and tiny. Uh, it actually looks uh, really cool. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we've found ourselves a uh, another villain stash here. And so I'm going to use Dr. Crankcase to go and mash, 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 potato, open this up and get myself even more money. That's all I've done. All I've done is get myself just endless money for, for Bop. Hey, look, he's always got, well, he's got over 4,000 money and he's probably fought about, I don't know, about five people. And all he's done is just run around the place and look awesome in his bobby hat. <laughs> oh dear, it's good though. It's good though, because hopefully, um... Oh, the fairy uh, is going to be around here somewhere. And if I do find her uh, somewhere in Time Town, uh, then I will be able to buy absolutely loads of upgrades and uh, uh, buy some new moves for Bob. So it's always good to, to have plenty of uh, money at hand. And anyway, let's go and uh, burst my way over here and, uh, yeah, find out what we're going to do next. Yumpin' Yiminy, a Skylander! Oh, I hope you're here to get rid of the bad wolf guy. He does not understand the fragile and abstract nature of time travel, don't you know? 
Yep, we are here to get rid of the wolf guy, uh, as well as saving chaos. And oh, hello! Since when did you show up? Quest discovered. Skyland's biggest fan. Glad I caught you here. I know you're in the middle of something, but if you could send a cross crow my way, I've got a pretty important challenge for him involving Skyland's biggest fans. Ah, I think the, the cross crow might actually be the, the villain uh, that we should hopefully be able to, to capture uh, while we're here uh, in a time town. But sadly, uh, we're going to be doing that in the, the next episode because we have uh, just about run out of time here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to carry on playing as Bop uh, in the next episode uh, because I feel, like I, I feel like I haven't got my money worth out of Bop yet. I feel like uh, there are more wonders for me to discover about this little character. So I want to uh, carry on playing as him in the, the next episode. So yeah, hopefully you're going to join me for that. As always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to it uh, so you can go straight to it uh, once I've uploaded it. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!